All right, I think I'll just get into it. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm doing a Dreamcast power supply recap. It's one of the things I'm doing. This is a Dreamcast, by the way, that's in pieces here. I'm doing the controller board upgrades. So there's on both of these, you'll see there's a battery here. There's two batteries. And then this uh, resistor here, I'm going to put a diode in there. There are this resistor here I'm going to keep, or this capacitor I'm going to keep. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, right there and right there, those are fuses. I'm going to pull those out, and I'm going to put resettable fuses in there. Um, and then I'm going to install a DC digital or DC HDMI on the processor board. So what I've done already is I've already cut off this bit there's a little bit of flashing on the end here that the cable needs to be routed through here because the uh the actual uh um the board is underneath here but it just kind of sticks out and there's if that piece was there it would it would pinch it hey taddy tater how are you and then this piece here i cut off as well so make sure you don't lose these two pieces these are a little uh, I guess they transfer heat or push down on the board, but they, they actually go on these two chips there, that one and that one. So you want to make sure those are in there too. Hey, Gray Wolf, how are you? So I've got the flashing done. I've got, um, I started drilling out the end of the part of the, the case here for the, um, that's going to be where the HDMI port comes out. And the HDMI port is on this board here. Where is that? I actually need to get that in there. Oh, I need to drill it again. I need to drill the bottom. Of course, the cat, now she's getting all excited. She, you know, she hasn't been, been around all day. So the HDMI board is here. So that's it there. That's the DC Digital, which actually it still says DC HDMI. 1.3b on there. Um, I need to put this backing on like that. And then I need to screw some holes through the case, but I'll do that as soon as I'm done with the, the backing with this. So this is actually kind of a shittiest part, and I probably should have done this before. Well, I mean, I, I did start this stuff about 45 minutes ago, but it's just been taking a while. So hey, Katsuni Teku and Emmy, how are you? How are you both doing? Hey, Herdag. So, yes, it's a HDMI mini. Yep, definitely. Uh, where is it? There it is. It's a, it's a mini. So it's not a full-size HDMI. I don't know if I have a full-size HDMI I can show you. Actually, I do. Oops, and I just dropped off. So there's full-size HDMI compared to the mini. And this is actually the adapter cable for that. So that's what I'll be using to test with when I'm done here. Um, music you're listening to is that four days worth of PlayStation 1 songs that I posted in my Discord. Oh, and by the way, uh, don't forget to vote for your nominations uh, for a Game War in, in Discord. What is this? Got some schmutz on my pad here. Oh, yeah, you know what? I didn't get... I don't have any of my soldering stuff over here either. I'm like running around at the last second here. So got leg day done over with feeling energetic. Excellent. So. Oh, my, my Cherno sub ran out. He actually gifted me a sub. So I had uh, some Cherno emotes for a little bit. So right now what I'm doing is I'm putting this backing on the, the DC digital board. If I can get the thing punched out, what the hell? There we go. Um, is that it? Just two holes? I guess so. So I should probably get into just recapping this, first of all. Um, I actually have two of his DC uh, Dreamcasts. That's why I got two of these boards here. I'm going to be doing both of these. I'm gonna re I already uh, have a recapped power supply for 
one of his Dreamcasts, but not the other one. I only have one that's recapped, so I'm going to be putting this in. Um, yeah, anyhow. Um, and this is kind of a pain in the butt. But let me go ahead and put the sticky on. So this will this is a vinyl sticker that'll just protect the the board from getting a. Uh, God, I'm trying to see this here. It'll keep it from shorting out on the on the bottom case. There we go. Yeah, it would help if I had some fingernails, but. To line this up, I wanted to line it up better than that. Good enough. All right. So there's that sticker on there. I mean, it's not the not the best job, but it's good enough with the sticker. It's just covering up all the electronics on the bottom, so that's good. And then how this will go eventually. It'll be in the back here. This will be back there. Oh, and I shaved off. There's like a little nipple sitting out there. I shaved that off. Is this in right? Yeah, that's in right. And then why is, why is this? It feels like it's not sitting on something. Why is that? Oh, there we go. This will go in like that through the hole that I'm drilling, which it looks like this hole is off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's off. That is off. Why is that off? That's like off by... I'm glad I saw that. You know what? What the fuck? It's I'm I'll, I'll post a link to the guide in chat here. You can see where I'm at, right there. If you go to the I'm about I'm down. If you search for the words, some consoles have this plastic nub. If you look for that text, that's where I'm at right now. I just cut off that knob. Actually, no. Here, Rev One insert 3D printed things in the holes like that. If you look at that. That's what I just did. And if you look at the pictures, there are over three. Three and a bit. And that's where I drilled it. And then four and a bit when you flip it over. Or actually still three. Oh, I see. It's a different... Yeah, fuck, it's a different thing. All right, well, Mac Danny's getting a little bit of a... You know what? I got. I have a different case I can use in the bottom. Let me go, let me go grab a different case. Yeah, I got a different Dreamcast. I'll just redo it on the different Dreamcast. Let me pull this out of here. So here's a Dreamcast, an unmodified one. I'll just pull it out of the bottom here. And actually, I've already done the, the board changes to this one, so I could probably just swap out the controller board for this. And that way I don't have to do them all on stream. Oops, excuse me. Okay, get this drive out of there. Uh, 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 uh. And just to check, yeah, see, it, this one's completely untouched, so I'll start this one fresh and actually drill out the right holes. Let's see. Why isn't this... Why can't I move this camera up? What the fuck?
There we go. All right, so I'm just taking this apart right now. So anyhow, if you want to check your uh, game war points, exclamation point game war will tell you how many points you got, and it'll give you a little information about game war. Um, nominations are in Discord right now, so if you want to see one of two games added, make sure you vote on those. They're not going to vote for themselves. Discord is only for nominating. It's not actually going to be... That's not where the voting is, so voting is in chat here. So if you want to vote have something to vote on make sure you nominate in there do you mostly do dreamcast modding or also other consoles i do a lot of xbox consoles but i'll do anything honestly I, it doesn't matter I'll, I'll mod anything i have no problem i've done ps1 mods i did a ps1 digital for mac danny a couple weeks ago did my i did I've done actually three PS1 digitals, two for myself, one for Mac Danny. Um, I've done a ton of Dreamcasts. This is like the, what, I don't even know how many I've done. Okay, Noah, go calm down, man. Open the window, get some fresh air. I got the windows open here, so probably I'm going to have to take a break later and shut them because it's not going to stay warm all day. All right, right now I'm just... Undoing all the screws. There's a billion and a half screws in this thing. Just so I can get the bottom shell. I don't think that Mac Danny's going to care that he's got a new shell. If anything else, this shell is a lot cleaner than the one he sent me. So he'll have that going for it. Just pulling out the screws now. Oops. And all the shells are pretty much interchangeable for VA ones. Still can't find your Dreamcast? Bummer. Right, and so, you know what? I think I will do that. So I'll trade a red one for a red one. That's one less thing I have to do today. Put this over here so I don't lose it. Just want to get this out of here. Why am I why am I still stuck in here? What is happening? There we are. Okay. There's the old one. And I'll put this in the I gotta swap out the fan as well. Let me grab that. So Mac Danny actually replaced the fan with a an upgraded fan, so I'll put that I'll transfer that over right now to the different case. Oh, he's only got one screw in it. It's interesting. All right, so now, so now I got my my one of my Dreamcasts has a little fucked up back in the back. It's got a little drill out where it shouldn't have one, but that's okay. Goes in here. I'm not going to screw this together. I'm just going to put it all just so I know where it's at. Okay, top flashing. It's here. Let's see. The recapped one. Is this the recapped one? I don't think this is the recapped one. No, that one needs to be recapped. So I'll put that one. Wait a second. Oh, wait, one of these two. Hang on a second. Oh, right, right, right. N neither of these have been recapped, so it doesn't matter. I'll just put one in here just to get it out of here for now. Like I said, I'll put all this stuff together later. Um... That needs to be redone, so I can do that some other time. This is the good bottom. I need to keep that here. Let's see what else. Um, the good bottom gets the fan assembly. Most of your modic experience was with Xbox and PS1, so that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, but it won't, but at least it got warmer from earlier when it 
I had to go get your package. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Blaze, 1911, how are you? Remember when you copied an Xbox hard drive, used some old Dell PC for its Molex connector? It was so jank, but it worked. Yeah, a lot of the old Xbox stuff is jank. I actually had to pull a machine from upstairs that had IDE on it to... Uh, I had... I was going through my old Xbox drives that I had pulled, and I had nine drives that were still locked because I never unlocked them before I removed them, and I kind of needed them to throw back in some Xboxes, and... Uh, so I had to get a utility to unlock them, and I got them all unlocked now. So I've got nine, nine gig drives that are completely worthless. All right, so what else do I need? This is Mac Danny's. Where's my lid? Okay, drive and lid are over there, so I'm going to go stick this aside. All right, so back to Mac Danny's. We'll put this in the proper way. It should be four, so that's where it needs to be. And I'm going to go drill it. I have the drill over there on the side. Let me do that. A lot better this time. Oh, fuck. So there we are. Much better this time. And bring in the board. We'll pop that. Where is it? This way. So it actually goes. Ah. Why is it? There. Whoops. So, all right. So you see where the that is, and you turn it up, and it's actually in the right spot this time. So, all fixed. Hey, Christomo, how are you? Oop. And these keep getting moved around. Don't lose those. They're not super critical important. I mean, if you lose one, cut the other one in half, but you're better off not losing them. All right, so now I got to open up the rest of that hole because I, I need that port to fit into that hole. So you can see how big that is. It's, they're roughly the same size, but I just need to open it up so that it'll fit right out the back. So for that... First thing I'm going to do is just, I guess I'll bump this back. I've got a set of files here, but I can't, my, even my smallest file won't fill it, fit in it yet. Hang on, let me get some of this stuff off of here. This is, honestly, this is the worst part of doing these, is shaving these cases down and getting plastic everywhere. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of cut this open. Try not to slice open my hand. Just to wiggle it in, just to break it out. Shave it a little bit. Here we go. All right, so you can see it's kind of getting there. See, I just need to get it, the holes big enough where I can get the, the files in. Then I can start filing it down. So I see it's already making good progress. And I don't want it to look like shit. You know, you, you want to take your time. Don't make it too big. Otherwise, it'll look like crap. So there we go. There's a good start. So now I can, I think, hopefully I can... Start using the file. Let me get this crap off of here. 
plastic everywhere. I'll vacuum after I'm done. So we got in the files here. So first, nice flat one. So I got a, a flat file. I don't know if this will fit. It kinda does. I'm just gonna wiggle it in till it gets there we go. And these take a lot off really quickly, so you don't want to go nuts. God, what a mess. I hate this shit. <laughs> I just want to periodically check it, see what the, how, the, how it looks. Compared to, yeah, I think I need to. And you, you do want to check it with the, the flashing in. Just kind of eyeball it. All right, it looks like it's low enough. It needs to go up, though. God, what a mess. This is the absolute worst part, especially if you're like a clean freak, which I'm not. If you look at my house, I'm not a clean freak, but I just don't like little plastic bits and shit everywhere. And I mean, this is small enough you can inhale it. So definitely vacuuming is going to happen after I'm done here. So let's put this back in, see how it looks. it for size the board right. check it out here so you see still needs to go that's that way it needs to be shaved a little bit um and it needs to be expanded left and right a little bit too so for let me go ahead and oh, I lost one of the pads. What the fuck? Oh, it's right there. So I'm just gonna pull these off so I don't actually lose them. And I'm gonna put them aside until I'm done with this part. Let me do a bit more. I just want to get the height correct right now. And then in a second, I'll, I think that's probably good. I've got a garbage can right here below me that I'm brushing the shit into. But I think the height is good. Ugh. So I'm going to extend the, uh, the width now. Let me double check one last time on the height. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, height is plenty good. So you can see, so it needs to, on the, that side it needs to go a little bit, and that side a little bit less. So I will switch the bit in my file from this flat one. I got a square one in here. Is that it? Yeah. So you see this one here, it's a square. Yep, this is Spyro, Dark Hollow. Pull this flashing out. This other side, I want to go a little bit, not quite as much, but what the hell did I use this on? It's like got some dark colored dust on it. All right, let me give that a tr test. I'll take this out in the garage and blow it out with the air compressor before I reassemble it, too. Oh, flashing. What's up, kitty? Meow. Okay. It fits. Looks good. So, there you go. Not the cleanest job in the world, but it's all right. Just need to get the hole open, get it through the hole, and we're good. Now, I mean, if, if you're really a, a stickler for how it looks, you could take a lot more time than I did. I'm just, I'm kind of rushing this. So, hopefully Mac Danny's not watching. Hey, CTW, how are you? So, I'm done with the files. Um, one other thing I like to do also is I like to take a blade and shave down the burrs on the inside here. Let me put this over here. Oh, go away. It's cat, man. Every time I go to do something. So I'm just like kind of deburring the end. So there's like no little bits hanging off or anything like that. No, I don't, you, you don't have to apologize to me for not being good at San Andreas. I mean, I don't know why that you, f you feel compelled to apologize for something like that. I don't, know, I don't know why you think that's even appropriate to bring up in conversation. I mean, do you apologize to your brother when you're not good at San Andreas? I mean, why would you? That's, that's just silly, man. It's a game. I think I saw you using a microscope, microscope PS1 mod. What model you have? I'm kind of curious what's the cheapest reasonable solution for soldering tiny parts and pins. I am using... Here's my microscope here. It's a piece of garbage. I got it off of eBay, or not eBay, Amazon. Okay, it doesn't want to zoom in. Here we go. Pluggable. Um, I can actually get the Amazon part and post it in Discord, or in chat. Give me a second here. Amazon. No, he's not watching, but he's in the chat all the time. All right, good. He won't see that I fucked up his... His case. I've actually had to swap the case because I, I drilled it in the wrong spot originally. I don't know if you were here for that part. 
let's see. Yeah, this is it. Here, this is the microscope. Not, yeah, I'm not going in. It's not, I'm not going to put it in Discord. I'll put it in chat here. That's the part I'm using. And to get into my Discord and all my social media links, there they are. And remember, Game War. So right now, uh, the early leader is Dark Souls, which is kind of cool, because I was actually thinking about putting Dark Souls in as one of the games, like, and not having chat nominate the stuff, but I'm like, oh, I'll put a thing up in Discord. People, I think people would be interested in voting for... Oh, and I got I to gotta shave off this little uh, nipple here. This is, why is this spinning like that? Yeah. All right, so that piece there, got to shave this down. That's the only other thing I need to do to this case because I did it on the original case, but I need to do it on this one as well. <clears throat> I'm kind of trying to push down and get it as low as possible, but... There we go. Perfect. Your regular system looks like shit, more like piss. Yeah, you, honestly, you need to pull these apart. At least not the not the bottom part, but pull the top case off your your stuff when you get them back and fucking scrub them out. Put them in the sink. Pull out unscrew everything that's metal and like put them in the sink and scrub them with some soap and water and let them dry out, man. Okay, no, take it easy, man. All right, last hole I need to drill. I need to put this in here, and I need to put that in there. So now I need to drill a hole here, and I need to drill a hole here, because I've got screws that I need to screw this in with now. And I'm going to go over and to my drill, and I'm going to go do that. So I'll be right back. Do I have a standby? I do have a standby. So I'll leave the microphone on. But since it's a blank screen, I figured it Ah. Okay, so one screw is done, or screw hole is done. So I want to put the actual, actually put the screw through there now, and then after I do get that in there, I'll put I'll screw the other hole. You know, what? hang on a second. I gotta take that nap. Please stand by as well. Got food. Eat it. All right, so so I've got uh, just a flat blade here, just to trim off the the little fuzzies that are sticking off the edge. So we got on the bottom. So like, cut a little bit because it. Yeah, sorry, your label's scratched. But yeah, the, the case I replaced with, since I drilled out the wrong spot, this is a, t a 10 times cleaner than the one that you had. There we go. Okay, so... Put that in. And I gotta find these screws. A little packet of goodies. So little tiny screws here. 
which way do I want to screw it? Nuts on the inside? I think nuts on the inside. Yeah, nuts go on the inside. So, take this out for now. Is that screwdriver? Yeah, it's Mac Danny's. So, I'm just screwing in the hole in the bottom until I feel it. It's there. I feel it. It's coming through. Is it coming through? Kind of. I might need to enlarge that hole. I think it's pushing up on the... I'm just going to work it in and out a few times just to get the whole size straight. I'll do the same thing on the... on the flashing just to make sure it's big enough. Because I think the... The drill I'm using is a little bit smaller than the the screw the screw hole or the screw. Yeah, it's all PlayStation One music. Once again, I'll grab the flat razor, shave off the excess around the outside. Let me see if I can get this. Working in here. I think what I want to do I'm just taking a screwdriver flat of Phillips head. I'm just Wedging it in the hole to try and make it a little better. Man, there's plastic bits everywhere. And grab this as well. Do some deburring here as well. All right, there's bits. All right, I think that did the trick. Oh, fuck. Yep, there we go. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, Have I ever played Shenmue? No, I haven't, but I do have it. I bought it recently. Okay, there we go. So now the hole is big enough that the screw is going through it. Which is perfect. So there's the hole with the screw coming out. So I'll back it out and I'll put the nut on and actually get the board installed. One thing I can do also, because I've kind of... Oh, actually, that's not bad at all. Never mind, I was going to say, because it's like, it kind of ca caved a little bit. There's a little bit of a dome in it now, but it's not too bad. Yeah, and that lines up good. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Put the screw in. And, yep, it's coming through the flashing now. Perfect. Okay, so it's through the flashing. I can install the board. Okay. Oops. 
And I need to put the nut on. Hey, Stex Van Beoven. How are you? Yeah, console modding today. I'm putting in a DC Digital. So let's see. Let's get this nut on here. I need a pair of pliers. I'll be right back. Actually, I got a little bigger screwdriver that should should work a little better. Oh yeah. All right, so I want to trying to hold this with my chin here so that I can get the screwdriver in one side and hold on to the nut with the other side. Oh shit. Well, apparently I just screwed the uh I screwed it so hard it it broke off. This thing's fucking like plastic in the middle. Wow. Okay, so don't screw it so hard that it breaks off. That's in there though. That's fucked up. Hang on a second. Is this going to pop out? I think this will probably pop out if I Yeah, the screw head broke off. Yeah, that's fucked up. Damn, Mac Danny, what the hell kind of shit are you sending me, man? You know what? Let me get the board out of there. Oh shit. I gotta find a screw now. I mean, I got another screw. I just won't go as tight, I guess. That's crazy. I mean, this is the fourth one of these I've done. I have not had that problem before. Do I not have alerts on? Oh, they are on. Hang on a second. Let me check this out. Well, thank you for the, the bits. Fuji, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Why oh, that popped out. It's fucking pisses me off. I want to get the screw out of here so I can replace it with something. I should have... I don't know... Okay, there we go. Alright, so right now it's only in the flashing. Grab onto it here. Okay. Got it out. Let me go find a different screw. Well, actually, I'll use the other screw that I have. Well, no, because this hole will probably take an M3. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a different screw. I should have someone somewhere.
think this might be too big. Let me see. Yeah, this is too big. This is the smallest I have. This is an M3. And compare that to the original screw. So see the difference in size? Look at that. That's... So I guess I should have just been a little bit more careful because of how small these things are. So it doesn't matter. I can still work on this and get it fixed. I'll have to go hit up uh, Home Depot, see if I can find a really tiny screw and nut to put in there, though, for the other one. So I'll just go ahead and use what I got for now. I could even grab the screw off of one of my... DC digital. So, you know what? Forget that giant screwdriver. I will continue using the smaller one. I'll just use the small one and not put too much torque on it. That Spyro? Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like Spyro as well. Okay. I'm not even going to use it. Pliers, I just use my fingers. All right. So that actually is pretty solid in there. I mean, that's not going anywhere. So, I mean, that's probably good enough. But I'm going to drill out the other side. And I will acquire a screw from somewhere. Um, probably not today, but sometime. Give me a second. I'm go drill this. All right, other side's drilled out. Uh. All right, I'll actually go ahead and deburr this side. All right, so that's the board installation. Just pretend there's another screw there. So we'll put this aside for now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my clamp and we'll start working on the boards. This is mine, I'm keeping... Oh no, this is not mine. I'll work on both. Oh yeah, the, this is the new one so that I that's already been done. So it's got a battery socket. So if you look here, the battery pops out. It's a battery socket. And it's got a diode so it doesn't recharge the uh non-rechargeable battery. It doesn't have the fuse replacement. So I'll put in this uh the fuse. I'll pull out the the old fuse, put in a new one. And I'm leaving this cap here because it's a uh it's in good shape it's very tiny so that, i mean it's cell not going to break see now the original batteries were soldered in this doesn't come off and this is rechargeable so there's no diode here so it actually will charge this but these are long dead so i'm not gonna put those in there and then i'm gonna pull out this fuse as well so we'll do both of those and then we're gonna take out all the caps off the power supply board and put new ones in i do have a recap kit Right there. And yeah. So let's see, what can I get out of here? Um, let's move that stuff aside. Go get my clamp, I'll be right back.
I also want to plug in my soldering iron here. I took the rail off. What do you mean? What rail? Are those caps blown or is it just preemptive? It's preemptive. Cut the red wire. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I need to do. Uh, well, uh, the one that... I have already have one that I recapped that I did pull it off right there. So it's got that pulled off. But this one's already recapped. This is out of my other boards. I don't have two cap kits. I only got the one cap kit. So rather than make you wait for a cap kit to arrive and me redo it uh, or, or wait till next week to do this, I figured I'd do it today and just give you a... Because I'm swapping out, like I said, I already did the work on this one other than the fuse, which I'll, I'll do today. Cut the red wire, that doesn't actually make sense though. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to pull off the fuse on this board. This is the board that's mostly done. And the fuse is this guy here. I need some solder. So what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of solder on top of this already. And that'll, because the old solder is like unleaded and it will be harder to melt. So I want to put some fresh solder on there and it'll just like mix in and make it easier to get the, the joint all taken out of here. Okay, yeah, see that's moving. So then I'll just grab... This guy, pull one side out, let me get, make this a little easier to hold on to. Okay, so there's the fuse. It's not really focusing. There we go. Right there. That's the old fuse. Um, actually, if I put this down like this. So it looks like one of the holes is empty. Looks good. We're looking, we're pointing at, I need a pointer, hang on. So on this board, we're talking about here and here. These are the two holes. This one's still got some solder in it, so I want to get some seed desoldering wick and just kind of see if I can get that out of there. It looks like both of those holes are empty now. Let me just double check this. Eh, it could be better. Oh, that's better. Okay. So now we'll put the new fuse in. Show you what those look like. 
So that finished one is going in the modem system? Yeah. Because you need one, you need the, that rail if you're going to be using a drive and your other system does have a drive in it. I only need two of these. There we go. Perfect. All right, so new fuse. It doesn't matter which way it goes in. I need some tape just to keep this in place while I'm doing it. All right, I got to grab some other tools while I was over there. A little bit of wire. All right, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of painter's tape. So let's see, there's the new fuse in here. It was kind of just needs to be in there. So new fuse is there. Those are the legs that I need to solder on. So I'll do that right now. You can see the two holes nice and clean okay so okay. those are the new holes new fuse soldered and fuse can pull this off now so now that one's done so now I got to put this diode the socket so there's a diode there a diode there on that leg where there's nothing on this leg here i need to replace this battery with the socket and i need to replace the fuse as well on this guy so this one's done so i'm going to go put this aside over there I'll go ahead and put this in the clamp so battery is these three so that'll be the first one that i grab i'm gonna put some fresh solder on just kind of glump it on there Just grab a hold of it and start. What am I stuck on? Um, another thing I can do too is cut it. That'll make it a little easier to actually get to it. So rather than having three legs I gotta pull out, I can I only need to pull out one. Looks like Yeah. And there's one or two. Okay, that's still not out, but I'm 
Got it. All right, so now I need to clean out the holes. I'm gonna put this back up. Doesn't look like those are. Looks like I'm gonna have to get them from the other side too. Now, if this doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll put more solder in them and get my soldering pump, get it out that way. That sometimes necessary because desoldering a hole or unplugging a hole in uh, motherboards can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. So, uh, it's kind of, yeah, these look plugged. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh solder in both sides and then get the desoldering pump. That middle one looks like it's got a nice solid blockage. All right, let me heat up my desoldering gun. Gotta make some room here. And we'll just pop these out. All right, so while we're waiting for that to get heated up, let's see what else I need to do. All right, so I need to take that resistor here. I just want to clip the end here and then pull out that end as well, which is right there. We'll put a diode in there. So get a little bit of... A little bit of solder. Press stuff. Actually, I should be able to just... There we go. So I got that out right there. So now it looks like this with the hook. And then the last guy is the fuse over here, which I've already done one. So we'll do that there as well. Get this pass it around the way. It's this guy. This guy. Oops. Can't get a good grip on it. I can't see it. There we are. Okay. That one's out. They're both out. Give this one a, a s okay, so that's blocked as well. All right, so it looks like all the holes are still still got a little bit in there, so I'll just get the desoldering iron, suck them all out. So let me 
Put a little extra on here. On that one. And those ones are still good. So now desoldering iron is this guy. Let me move this back so you can actually see. So there's my desoldering iron. It's got a vacuum in here and it sucks the stuff up here. The end is red hot. So when I actually pull this out of here. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just hit this on one of the ends. Yep, perfect. Okay, where's the other one? That one. This one in the middle here, this battery one, is still blocked. All three of these batteries are blocked. Let me put a little bit more solder in there. Whoops. I'm just looking at the rest of the holes. The rest of the holes look good. And actually, one of the battery holes is open. Yeah, one of them is open. The middle one, a pointer. So that one and that one are still blocked. This one's open right there. That's open and these two are open. So it's just a matter of persistence. Eventually it'll get opened. I'm gonna put a little bit more solder in here. God, these fucking headphones today are just not cooperating. I may need to drill these. Just because it doesn't look like anything. It's it, if the, in ideally the solder should go through the hole and you should see a, a blob on the other end, but that's not happening here. It's all staying up at the top. It's not actually going through the center. So it's, even though I just put two blobs on there when I flip it over. OK, that one looks good. The center one is still kind of fucked up, though. So let me grab this middle one, or the left one. Okay, left one is open. You know what, let me put some solder on the bottom as well. Oops. Okay, I don't know if that made a difference or not. I'll give it a try. Doesn't look like it did. Nope. And if I do this anymore, I'm going to start damaging the board. So I think I'm going to drill this one out. Which I hate doing that, but... I haven't even gotten to the good part of this fucking mod yet. Still doing this bullshit part. So I got these little tiny drill bits that are impossible to open. Not that I'm planning on saying anything, but is back, back seat soldering allowed on the stream? Yeah, sure.
I mean, I'm I'm definitely not a pro at this. I do this as a hobby, so. If you have any experience doing this and you have a suggestion, by all means. All right, so I've got this little tiny drill bit here. Which is actually too big. All right, this one. Might not put some flux on the wick and increase the temperature of the iron. The iron is at 427. That's plenty hot. Um... Yeah, flux would probably help. Actually, yeah, I do have some flux right here. Let's we'll see if that makes a difference. Give it a last try. Although, I mean, with this tiny area, it shouldn't make a difference. I mean, old solder will get crystallized, and it's not... You know, and it just gets it so that it, 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 no matter what you do, it just does not melt. It's just like, uh, it's opened up a little bit. That could also be just because I drilled it. So I'm. No, actually, no, it did not open up. It's just shiny. I can't even see what I'm doing. I uh, just got this little drill bit. I'm doing it by hand, too. I'm just spinning it around. Just to get through the center. It, this actually might be... This bit might be a little bit too big still. Four twenty seven Fahrenheit. Uh, I think this is Celsius. So it's like 700 or something. All right. Uh, just drilling out a bit, about halfway through now. Doing a hole. Oops. That's, that's almost through. Yeah, let me brush some of this off my desk. Nasty shit. This is worse than plastic. I'm just going to go in these other holes real quick. Yeah, this drill bit might be, it'll still be a little bit too big, but it's all right.
Every time I pop it over, I, I look in the wrong hole. I'm like, oh, it's open, but no, it's not. Is getting there though. Hey, Snuff Boy, how are you? Here we go. We're through. All right. All three are open now. All right, before I lose any of these drill bits, let me put the cap back on. Where am I at? Is that how it goes? Yeah. All right, good. Get this desoldering iron out of here. And let's find, let's see. That one's already done. So this one, I need a socket. I need a diode and I already got the fuse. Diode and fuse. So the socket goes in. Now this is going to be a tight fit because these holes are pretty small. But just wiggle it in. Well, ex all the except for the center one. The center one's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's doesn't want to go in that hole. Let me check this out here some desoldering wick on here. There's a, there's a little bit of solder on the outside of this. I'm going to clean it up a little. You know what? I may want to drill that out too. That is tiny. These holes are pretty small. Come on, get in there. Yeah, I'm. There's that drill bit. What do with those? Just gonna enlarge the hole a little bit. We'll go this one. Let's see if this will work. What I put in here? Yeah. It might be helpful if I put it in the right one. Hey, Mr. Post. How's it going? Thank you for the have fun. Trying to. I'm trying not to fuck it up too bad. Already made a couple mistakes, but it's not my console, so what do I care? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Danny. I'm 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 doing my best, man. You will have a fully working console after I'm done. Everything will work. You'll have screws in all the uh, places that need to have screws. You'll have. All right. This is kind of getting there. I think that's the one that I'm... 
just doesn't want to fit in. There we are. All right. Let's give this a try now. Perfect. All right, so now it, it sits flush. So we'll put it in there. I'll put a little tape over it, keep it in place. Put these drill bits away. Okay. Clamp up here. Put on some tape real quick. This old piece I probably could have used again, but this is like a fraction of a penny of tape. And plus side is out. See how that looks. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I want to put this diode in. One second. You know what I never did on the the fuse? I never cut the legs. God damn it's chair. Piece of shit. I never cut the legs. I got a jar that I keep the uh, clipped legs in because they're good for like if you need like a, a little bridge or anything like that. So I'm going to clip the legs off of this fuse that I put in earlier. Right there. Which is not focusing. Anyhow, I'm going to clip the legs and store them in my jar. Because actually that would make make it a little bit difficult to install with the legs not clipped. So right now I need to put a diode in here, which is here. The diode reminded me of that. So. So I'm just going to just go in there like that. Let me get some tin the end of this. Okay. And then the bottom, need to solder that in. So what this will do, this diode here will prevent the recharging circuit from actually sending current to the battery. So it won't try and charge the battery because we're putting in a battery that's not rechargeable and we don't want the battery to pop. So that this diode will prevent that. Okay, so that's done. So now you look at the diode, it's connected up there. It's got a huge blob on there, let me fix that. There, a little bit better, looking good, oriented properly, I don't know if you can tell, and now fuse is gone, so we got to replace the fuse, otherwise none of these will work, oh yeah, Mac Danny, isn't there one of your ports doesn't work or something you said, so I just need to tape this here, what is... 
something smells like it. Oh, I was like, damn, something smells like it's on fire. I got my windows open, so my neighbors probably got a, like a uh, campfire or something going. They burn lots of wood. Okay, so here's the fuse. Fuse is done. Just need to cut these legs off. Then we can get onto the good stuff, the fun part of this mod. The actual flex cable on the motherboard. The part that it's the most difficult, but I, I like it. I think it's the most fun part of doing these. Kimmy. Oh my god. Is this wet? Yeah, I think this is wet. What am I doing? This guy. All right, so once again, let me post the instructions that I'm using into chat here. I am down at the part, if you do control F and search for step three, installing the flat flex cable. That's what I'm doing right now. So I need to re remove R610 and R609 that are highlighted in yellow. So. The area of the board we're working on is here, right in here. So the flex cable is this guy, and it will go in like right in there, somewhat, something like that. So just to give you an idea how big it is, each one of these squares is a centimeter, and then I don't know if this will help or not. Let's see. Let's see, I got a macro lens that's looks like it's all it's doing is glaring. So Yeah. Anyhow, that's it. Oh wait, I can do this. Hang on. Got the microscope. Microscope. There we are. And you see each, there are one, two, three, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pins, it looks like. Unless I'm counting wrong. Because there is one on the end that's just not showing up. It's kind of like a glare, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, fifteen. So there's fifteen pins there. And then over here, roughly about that many. Fifteen? All right, cool. So those need to go on to. Do I have the right chip in the, on the microscope? I do. So that needs to go in there. But first thing I need to do is I need to remove, was it R609 and R610, which are right there in the center, these guys. Right there is 609 and right there is 610. So I gotta pull those off. Easy to count with the mouse over them, yeah. Hard to count when you're staring at them without, you know what, I don't have my magnifier on. Hang on, let me grab that. I am gonna need that. got a headset magnifier that the fucking strap does not like to stay clipped it keeps coming loose which is not good what's up with the cards oh cards are what the fuck I guess cards weren't in the other 
Yeah, well, don't bet on these cards because it got screwed up because I switched um, scenes and it uh, obviously didn't have the cards in the other scenes. Why is this headset acting up? It's like either too tight or way too loose. All right, here we go. Oh my god, this fucking thing! I just bought these damn things, too. They just do not want to stay. Alright, I think I got it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so R609, R610. Um, let's see where are they? They're right there. So, to get those off, just get a little bit of... A little bit of solder on one end and just kind of hit them with the blob of solder and pick them up. I don't have to get anything else off. All right, so those are both gone. Clean off my tip of my iron here. And then get a clean end of this. So my desoldering braid's got a little bit of the end's kind of crusty. I'm just cutting it off so I get a fresh end. So I just want to clean these. Just excess solder, clean that up. Just like that. All right, so let, let's see. Put this under the microscope, you see it. Where are we at? Uh, 609, 610, right in there, cleaned off. Looks like it Clean them off with a. Oop, let me get rid of that microscope. Clean them off with a little alcohol. And actually, I'm going to clean up everywhere. I'm going to clean the board off a little bit where I need to solder. This will just make it easier to clean or easier to solder to because if there's like electrolyte and stuff from anything or old flux or dirt or dust, you know, it's not going to make it real easy to solder onto. So I think we're good there. So 609 and 610 are gone. Okay, so now we're going to do the flux cable. Is this guy here? So we want to put this. How do I want to align this? Just make sure I'm lining this up right because you got to do it with certain pins. I'm just looking at the picture really closely. So it looks like two on the left and three on the right is the offset. I'm going to grab some pl uh, tweezers. I'll be right back. Need that gamer gunk for speed running? Yeah. That flex cable scares you? Shit, this is nothing. Do the PS1 digital, that's the scary one. This one is cake compared to that. All right, so what did I say? Two on the left and three on the right. Yeah. 
getting a little bit of solder here getting it ready so I can just like put a little bit on my iron I can tack this stuff down properly Just got to be careful. Take your time. There's no rush doing this. I'm not even going. Son of a bitch. You know what? I forgot. Where is... Put a little flux down too. Very important. Breather. Yeah, that would have... Had I used flux, this would have gone a little better. But i got flux now, so I'll just... It's tacked down. I'm just giving them a, a quick once over. Looks like I got them all, but okay, these two. All right, I'll get a little more flux. Hopefully, you can even see what I'm doing. solder. I'm just going to make sure I got enough. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me clean this off. And take a closer look. Let's see, put it on the microscope, and then I'll get the meter out too. I want to test it. Mm, I don't like those two on the end. Hit these again. Might actually just be more solder than I'm used to. That's probably what. Yeah, it's better. All right, we put this under the. Put this under the microscope. Check it out. See what this looks like. Uh, 
kind of a lot of glare on there. Let me uh, turn this light out. helps at all as you can kind of see it doesn't look like there's any bridges it looks like they're all solid so what i'll do is i'm gonna grab the meter make sure there's no bridges between any of those and we'll move on that one there or that one right there looks like it eh, i think that's fine but they all look good let me go ahead and grab my meter real quick People who design these probably study the schematics for weeks or months. Oh, yeah, for, I mean, I think they were developing this for a couple of years before they actually released this version. So let me grab my multimeter. So I've got this on, I'm going to put this on diode mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch each of the connections, make sure that they have a good solid connection and they're not bridged with next to it. So when I touch the leads together, it makes that beeping noise. So, hey, lowly thighs are the way. How are you? So I'm just going to go. Okay, I got my wire caught on something. I'm going to check each of these. Okay, that's good. No bridge, solid connection, 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 no bridge, solid, no, no bridge, then that's no bridge, that's solid, no bridge, 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 solid, oops, where am I at? No bridge, solid, and no bridge, solid. And then just check the last one. Looks good. All right, so we're good there. Um, let's see. Now, get this meter out of the way. Need it in a second. Let's see what's the next step. We've got okay, IC audio, and then video DAC, which is this chip here. So I need to align it on there. Basically, do the same exact thing, and that's actually lined up really good, right like that. So let's put some flux down. Flux and put some solder on my iron, just a little tiny bit. And I want to, I'll just push this with my hand because I want to make sure I get it. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. Let me start at the other end now. And it just takes a tiny bit. You don't really need a lot of solder on this. I mean, you need enough to make a connection, but that's it. Okay, I'm just going to... And then off. We'll look over it one more time. That might be a little bit too much. So much shit in my way. Too much. There we are. That's too much again. I think I might need a new tip. This is not picking up. 
There. Perfect. I'm going to start here. Okay, that's... That's a bridge for sure. Yeah, I've definitely bridged a, a bunch of these pins right now. So I'll, I'll be cleaning that up in a second here. Okay, that one's clean. looks good now. Yeah, that looks real good. All right, let me check this under the microscope. That looks pretty good. All right, let me grab my meter and check it for, well, you know what? Let me do the other side as well. Cause I got to do, I did one side. I did that side there. So I want to do this side as well. And then I'll check them all, check it all with the meter all at once. But this side should be fine. Cause it's pretty close. I mean, there's really not much that this can move around at this point. Uh, you know what? That does look kind of... Huh. There we go. That'll work. I don't know. You know what? It's close. I think we'll be all right. I'll test it real quick. If it, if this isn't if there's a bridge on this one, then I am gonna I'm gonna probably have to pull it up. It's my alcohol. Probably should have lined this side first and then done the other side, but it's all right. It's easy enough to redo it if it's a problem. Yeah, I don't like how this looks. I'm pretty sure this is gonna have a bridge on it. And it's just cause it's it's too a little bit too far over. No, that's good. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I, I don't like the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to reseat this whole thing. Okay. Oops, my rubber band's coming off. All right, I'll sit this better. 
nice thing it's it's already tinned up so i just need to heat it up yeah this is perfect now i mean it probably would have worked i just didn't like the way it was sitting it was a little bit too close for my liking Okay, yeah, this looks much, much better. And then that side's even lined up right. Much, much better. Okay. Yeah, these look great. All right. So that's the cable. Let me clean this off and just test it real quick. this under the microscope let you see where are we at no this way right there so you see these these guys over here these uh, on this side that's where I was worried about it being lined up wrong but those are perfect now and then whoops underneath here those are good as well all those are tacked in or connected they're all permanently so let me test them with my meter it is right here get some of this junk out of my way No bridge, good connection, no bridge, good connection, no bridge. Hang on a second, is that? I'm just going to make sure I'm, this is pushed down enough. Pretty sure it is. It just looks like it's, it's elevated, but... No, I guess it's good. All right. So let me start over here. Okay. No bridge. Good. 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 Oop. No bridge. Good. On this side, good, no bridge, 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 good, no, good, no, good, no, good, no, good, no, good, no, good, whoops, and no, good. All right, so those are all good. It's out of view. What's out of view? Unless it's supposed to be. What, this? Oh, that was four minutes ago. Sorry. Well, hopefully it's back in view, whatever was out of view. All right, so now I need to 
there are a couple more points I need to solder into. Need to solder here, 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 um, here, 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 and here. So just, those are just single points. So that's easy enough to do. Let's get this into view here. Go ahead and take care of. God, I really am not very happy with these. Uh, Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. There's screws on the side. You can tighten them. Oh, I'm a dumbass. So my headset kept flopping down in my face and it was pissing me off, but there's screws on the side. You can tighten them so it stays up easier. All right. Now I like them again. All right, so we'll put the flux down there. So there's five spots here I need to solder. I'll just go ahead and let me do this one in here first. Okay. Hopefully you can, you can actually see that. Um, do this one here. A lot of solder on that, but doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, let's double check that one in there. All right, that should be good. And then the last one is over here. Right there. That's it. All right, so that's the hard part of the soldering done. Go ahead and clean up. Way too much alcohol, but it's all right. Just giving it a good look over one last time. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. All right. So now, got a little bit of do on the back. I got to put some wires on. All right. Let's check in the guide here. Check for shorts of the multimeter. This is a, a Dreamcast. It's actually not broken. I'm adding a uh, an HDMI mod to it. Okay, so now I'm on step f on the instructions. I'm skipping down to step five: game set or gamepad and reset wires. 
So we got to flip the board over. And look for over here on this side. I think it's down here. 601 and 602. I solder two long wires. So zoom in. 601 and 602 are over here. 601, 602. I'm going to put wires on to the left side of these resistors here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just add a little bit of solder on there to these resistors. Let's make a bigger area for the wire to connect to. Actually, I'll prop this up. Like that. And then there's a test point as well. It needs a wire, which is next to IC206, which is the IC206 right here. The test point is right there. Oh. Right where I lost it again. There, right there. I'm going to add some. Looks here, and just add on a little bit of lava solder. Like that. Okay. And get out some wire. I'll get a generous length of wire. It'll be more than enough. All right, so. Yeah, this is way too much, but that's okay. So first piece of wire. I'm just cutting the wire right now into three pieces so that when I solder them, I don't have to do it later. Two. Making them roughly the same size, but I'm going to put knots in the end of them just so I can tell them apart. So this one I'll have oh I guess I should zoom out for this for right now.
Yes, I guess the mic was muted. I Somehow I turned it off. Sorry about that. How long has it been like that? But yeah, um, let me go back and answer questions. That's some nice dipping sauce. I said, yes, it smells good too. I don't know if you guys heard that. But yeah, this Flux is great. I love the smell of it. Did I mod any consoles before? Yes, I've done some Wii's. I've done Xboxes. I've done PlayStation 1's, PlayStation 2's. Um, what else have I done? Dreamcast. I've done this mod four times. This will be my fourth. Or fourth or fifth. Um, that's about it. Tumba 2 is so rare. There's... Used to be a good store selling just the manual for 30 bucks. Damn. Okay, so I'm done wiring up the wires on the back. So now I think, let's see, let me go back to the guide here. Test point. This is Christmas music. So let me grab the board here, because now I got to solder to the DC digital. Make some room. Okay. So this will end up going in. It sits this way. The flex cable goes under here and connects into right there so i need to solder these wires onto these points up here so they need to go in like that i need another wire also for the dc digital i also need to set the switch for the dc digital which is a point i skipped let me do that gdmu button press if you have gdmu no i don't want Okay, solder a long wire to the opt pad, and then flip the bottom switch to on, locate it on switch one. I'm getting a closer look at which one I need to, okay, the bottom switch to on. So there's a little bit of uh, like tape, heat sensitive tape or heat protective tape over this switch. So I'm gonna peel it off. Then I can move the wire. Move the switch. Come on. Again, having a fingernail would definitely have helped here. I got it. There we go. Yep. Okay. Zoom in and show you these tiny ass switches. Switches get stitches. So I want to switch this one to on, that one off. So that one is on, the other one is off. And then I'm soldering to these four pads over here. So I want to just put a little bit of solder on there and tin the wires, or tin the pads up.
Okay. Now this is very important. Do not, if you're doing this mod yourself, do not mess up which pad gets which wire. Because if you do that, you will burn out your flex cable. Ask me how I know this. Through experience would be the answer. If you were here and asked me. I actually fried a flex cable, one of these cables, and had to redo the whole thing. So this one is going to the option table, so I'll wait for that one. I'll do that one last. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So, let's see, reset is the one with no wire. P1 is 601 and P2 is 602, I think. Yeah, 601, which has one, one knot, which is this guy here. This one goes to P1, so I will cut it right about there. Oops, that's not a cutters. There's my cutters. Cut it about there. This is P1, just making sure again. Strip the end. Where'd that go? There it is. Okay, this is going to P1. Get it a little closer so I can actually see. Okay, P1, P2 is 602, and that's the one with two wires. So that's why I put in the uh, the knots in these so I can tell them apart, just so I don't put the wrong one on the wrong pad. Okay, P2. Can you actually see what I'm doing? Probably not. Okay, there's P2. Option. Test point to reset. Yeah, okay. Option goes to the GDMU. So this is the option wire. And it's option and reset that I, I got confused. And that's what fried the, uh, fried that one cable that I had. And a replacement cable is $20, so I would advise you not to do that. Okay, and then this is the reset one. So what these wires do, other th with the exception of the, the one that, that is connected to option, the loose wire, or the wires from the back, allow the um, on-screen display to come up when you hit the, uh, the key combo on the controller. And then the reset button will let, just allows you to reset the whole console through the same controller, through the, uh, oh, I need to strip the end of this, through the on-screen display, I mean. Okay. All right, I am done stripping wires, and this will be the last wire I need to solder. If I can. Okay, we're done. So now, all right, let's just make sure, install the main board. Oh, right, 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 right. Need to put on, there's an antenna that needs to wire up out the top. So we'll put that on here. If I can get the damn thing on, these are, there we go. Okay. I don't like these connectors, but 
I guess they're all right. Hang on, I gotta see where it says to put the antenna. Okay, the antenna wants to go on the top flashing, so let me get the power supply out of here. And I want to route these wires. Okay, these need to come back this way. So let me just put this over here for now. I want these under here like that. And I think I want these wires on that side of the screw boss, like that. Let's show you how I got that wired, like that. It's this, it's this guy that's kind of a, a bit of a pain. This antenna wire, there. Okay, so now I'm just hooking up the flex cable to the, all right, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna hook the flex cable into the board itself. Let me do it this way so I can actually see it as well as you seeing it. There's not much slack here. Okay, we're good. Oh wait, am I supposed to? There was a part. Hang on. I was supposed to remove part of this bottom over here. I need to take that off. Um, yeah, I need to take that off. So let me back out. Fortunately, there's nothing permanent on here yet. I mean, the only permanent thing is the soldering between the board and the uh, DC digital, but I can, that's not a problem right now. So this is why you check, double check, you go slowly. I can pull this out here. I need to pull the screw out a little bit more. Hey. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love watching this kind of thing on YouTube. Kind of, I, I, I'm, I was into this before YouTube, but now with YouTube, I really do enjoy it. I do post these uh, mod streams. All my streams go to YouTube, so this will be up there eventually. All right, there we go. So this is the part I forgot. What is this? Oh. I had actually already done this on the other board, but... So I need to pull this part off here. That and... Yeah, because I had pulled this part off already. But I forgot to do this part over here. So basically all I'm doing is...
There we go. Just like that. So now the end, because the flex cable goes underneath this, actually it goes next to that. And with this little flange thing on there, it would have been hitting it. Where did that go? There it is. So, so instead of that being there, now it's off. Um, this is like kind of curved, which you can't see. It's kind of curved. You can kind of see the curve there. Right there. See that curve in there? I'm going to go hammer that out real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. So now I've gotten that, I flattened that out. I actually had hammered this out as well. Cause when I, what I do is I basically just pinch it and twist it back and forth and that kind of puts a, a thing in there. So let's see, let's see. Uh, this goes in here. Put this board back in there. Get the screw in. Let's try not to break a head off of the screw like I did the other one. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let me get the screw through. Okay. Why is this not going in now? There we go. Okay. Put this nut back on. And like before, I'm just holding the nut with my fingers. I'm not trying to wrench the head off. Okay. Here's the option line. Let's get that out. Get that out there. Putting the flex cable in. Okay, so now when I put this down, let me make sure these wires are going. I'm just kind of pulling the wires underneath just to route them away from stuff. This hopefully will lay flat. Okay. Would you fuck off, cat, please? You got food, go eat it. Alright, let's see. Let's get this in. I know. Push this down a little bit. Okay. So there's that in there. So the cable is not being hit by that there. And then that part has also been pulled off right there. There was a, another part there. So that corresponds with the, the bottom one that was taken off. 
Okay. And actually, before I screw everything in, I want to... Where's the... Oh, there they are. See, this one is the one that's complete. So I'll put this here. Uh, I'm going to plug in the... Plug in everything and just test it out. Just to make sure it's working. Right. Needs to have a fan installed, or otherwise it won't boot. What the fuck? Oh, it's upside down. Alright. Okay, I need to crack this open. Forgot these two pads. Right there. Another reason why I like to go slow. What the fuck am I caught on? There we are. So those two pads go in here. Like that. Um, this one actually, this one's getting a GDMU board, so there's not going to be a drive in it. Now, McDanny, uh, did your GDMU work with that card? Because it did not work in my GDMU. I'm using authentic GDMUs, though, so. Oh, you got this in. Yeah, you got this thing in there. There, get rid of that. But it didn't work in mine, so I don't know if yours... I mean, I'm assuming it worked in yours, otherwise why would you have sent it to me? Okay, I'll put this in here. Actually, this needs to go under here first. Isn't that going in? There we are. All right. That should be everything I need to boot right now. So. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> I need to find a controller. One second. There you go.
Let's see. Three. So that's 17, 42. All right, so there's no card in the GDMU right now, so let's bring the on-screen display up. Whoops. So there's the on-screen display. We'll go to test info. Whoops. And all of those hearts there, those need to be hearts rather than Xs. Otherwise, there's a problem. So that's good. Um... Let's put in a output resolution. Let's check this out. VGA, video settings. Yep, looks all good. Scan lines. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. I'll pack, uh, I'm going to close it up and we'll test it out for real. So let's put this back here. So what you're seeing there, that's actually my camera. That's my camera's memory. So I could actually, well, I don't want to go through my uh, taking pictures. You don't need to see my nudes. But we're good. Oh, there is one thing I need to solder still. I need to solder the uh, this option wire. I need to solder to the GDMU right there. Oh my fucking god, cat, please. Let me go feed the cat real quick. I, I'm sure she's got food. Let me look. Oh no, she might be out. Yeah, I'm gonna go feed the cat. I'll be right back. Doesn't Ikea make you stick to their shit? Stick their shit to the wall somehow because that is weird center of gravity? What? What'd you get at Ikea? Anyway. Welcome back, by the way. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, you don't have any mounting screws or anything for your GDMU. But, MacDanny, did you, did you hear my question when I asked if you're... If your card worked in your GDMU because it didn't work in mine. I'm just wondering if you had issues or what. AFK not still on screen. Actually, I'm going to step away again. I got to look for another part because there's, there's no mounting pieces with his GDMU. There's like this one thing, but that's not quite what I need. So I'll be right back.
All right, sorry. Um, so I got this other GDMU or other Dreamcast I got here. Here it is. Please stand by. So, uh, uh, McDanny, are you a actually listening? Am I muted again? Can you not hear what am I asking you a question? Because I, I keep looking up on stream and I don't see an answer to my question. Can, can somebody respond? Let me know if you can hear me or not. You got that too well. I forget what firmware your Vita is. McDanny. Hello, anybody? Can anybody hear me? Mic working. Okay, so since my mic is working, we've established that. Mac Danny, will you answer my question, please? Oh, you said it did work. Okay. I didn't see that. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing a mount for this GDMU out of here. I actually got a different one. Fuck, where did that go? This is not the one I wanted, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Um, hang on a second. I forgot, I put it in the box of the stuff for Mac Danny's Dreamcast. Yeah, this isn't the one I wanted. All right, sorry about that. This is what I wanted. Um, I need to put in the screws and stuff, so let me get... Pull this stuff and get it out of the way real quick. Screw everything down. All right, so there are screws over here. So I got a shit ton of screws here. Oh, that's funny. It, this thing is moving because it's connected to the... It's magnetic. Oh my god, I just fed this cat. Actually, before I screw this down, let me... Check this out real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. I need to put on this front piece. So I gotta put on this front piece here. Cause underneath, that actually goes on here, right there. Okay, and then this part goes on top of that and holds it down. If, if I can get this to go on right. There we go. So I'll screw this in. And then I'll put the... the antenna back on. So these, these are all black screws in the back here. So what the hell is that plastic shit that was next to the power supply? Was that an electrostatic shield? This? Yeah, it just keeps it from going, uh, causing a short circuit because the bottom of the power supply is just a lot of metal and you don't want that touching there.
out of all the constant modding, modding, which one do you enjoy doing the most? I like these. These are fun. Dreamcasts are definitely fun. Um, Xboxes, I've done a lot of. Those are fun as well. Hang on, I'm looking. All right, sorry. I have a ton of screws, and I don't remember which ones are black. I'm pretty sure all the ones over to here are black, and then these are copper. Oh, my God. Wonder how I feel about the N64 one. The N64 one didn't look too difficult. I am going to have one screw left over. Oops. No. Oh. Where it is? There it is. Do it like this. What company do you get your tools from and why is it snap on? It is not snap on. All right. All right. That's all of those screws. Let me put the antenna on. I just go to Home Depot, get whatever's there. Okay. Antenna. Good. Um, what's next? Front. Put this in. Get this fan detached. Hey, Hamp, how's it going? Okay. Got that, and these take long screws, long copper screws. For this piece, come on. Oh, and anybody that stopped in and said hello, I apologize if I missed it. If you had a question and I missed it too, uh, now would be a good time to ask because I'm not like super concentrating on what I'm doing here. Game War. Yeah, exclamation point Game War. I... Uh, Well, it shouldn't have said R.I.P. R.I.P., but boxers or briefs? I I like the boxer briefs. It's kind of best of both worlds. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, I think I'm more of a brief guy now. In college, I was boxers. But I like the boxer briefs. If it gets warm, then I guess uh, just regular briefs without the boxer part. All right. Um, yeah, that's weird. I wonder why that was like that. Okay, that's in um, this guy. Oh, wait, no, power supply. I'm going to do the power supply next. I'll put that under there.
Okay, that snapped in good that time. This takes two coppers, or two brass screws, I guess they are. But thanks for the 200 bits, Mac Danny. Yeah, and make sure you go into Discord. Right there, there's my Discord link. Go into Discord and make sure you vote for the nominees for Game War, because the top two will actually be competing to see which one I play next. And right now it looks like Dark Souls is going to be one, but it's still early. Ah. There we go. Now, I should have a long screw here. I think I got one on the other thing. One of these should work. Try this one. Yeah, that one looks good. Actually, I'm an idiot. I need to put in the board first. You thinking about consolidating those two botcat messages? What? They, to thank you for the bits and earning the game war? No, they're completely separate. I'm leaving them separate. All right, so I need to solder this wire to the GDMU. This is the option wire off of the... the, the uh, DC Digital. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to reset the GDMU from the DC Digital heads-up display. Now, if this were a genuine GDMU, it would have a through-hole switch on the back, but this is not a through-hole. This is surface mount, so I gotta go fish it through to the top, which is not a big deal. I mean, it's, it's no big deal. Genuine GDMUs are difficult to find. And when you do find them, they're expensive. Okay, strip that wire there. Hang on, I gotta figure out which, where I need to solder this here. Okay, that's what I thought. So I need to put solder to this guy here. Put a piece of some fresh solder on it. Okay. Put this on here. All right, give this a little, clean this up a little bit. Wish it was genuine, that guy, one guy better release more soon or get a helper. He's not going to do either. So, you're going to have to live with it. And honestly, it doesn't matter. Yours actually seems to be a little bit more compatible with different cards, more cards than mine is. That's for sure. All right, so 
Now I need to screw GDMU into this board. Oh, sorry, he can't see anything. So what I did is I soldered that wire there, and now I'm screwing the GDMU down to the, the mount, that plastic mount that's in there. That's a 3D printed part that I got a while ago that I am no longer using. I don't know if this screw is going to work here. Oh, no, that, that works perfectly. Oh, that's great. All right, now we got to put the fan on. I had another screw for the that would have fit in here, but I don't know where it is now. I don't know why yours only has one screw. And actually, I don't. Let me put this on. Let's set this differently here. Let's set it like that. I'm just changing the hole that it, this is going into because I like to have it so that the wire is like off to the side rather than off to the top. That way it, it doesn't get interfere with your latch. <laughs> Ding. Wait, does it work? I was starting to think it was because the GDMU CDI wasn't in zero zero or zero one again. I don't know. It didn't work when I tested it. All right, so hook up this batter or the fan. And then I like to run the fans wire under there. And that should do it. Um, there is one thing I need to go into the console for, but I'll be doing that. I guess I could do that. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, here. This will also make it a little bit more convenient. Get you a... an adapter. So you don't need to reach in there trying to change the card. Where's your card? All right, here's your card. I got my card just in case yours doesn't read for whatever reason again. I guess I could put the top on too. Um, so along when you change the the fan in here, it actually interferes with the the latch. So he's got a three D printed one that's uh, that's different. Which I noticed your spring is all messed up too, but. I think that was because you, you lost it. And seriously, get a fucking scrub brush and some soap and clean this fucking thing off. This is disgusting. Let's see. This goes like that. Right? Like that? Yeah. Okay, just like that. Just went to get food and someone was wheeling a butt coin mining rig out of the building. Really? Is it full of NVIDIA cards? So I like to put this one in first because you can get to it without a, with a regular screwdriver. Not as disgusting as your piss yellow one. Well, that one's just yellowed. This one's dirty. I mean, they're both dirty. But whenever I get a console, the first thing I do is I take it apart and I, I wash the thing if it's filthy. Ah. 
Okay, and last screw here. All right, screws are all in. He's got a broadband adapter, which I don't know why you would have sent these. Would have saved some weight, but that's this is a rare part. So, thanks, sucker. All right, so now on the inside, that's what he sees. It's, well, I, you can't really see the other side of it. But with this extender now, you put the extender in, and then you can, rather than reaching down and trying to fish out that SD card down there, you just grab the extender and you put the card in the extender like that. So we'll boot it, see if it works. I can turn off my soldering iron here. My hands are massive. Not really. Those are centimeters, each square, so you can see how, how big they are. So here we go, moment of truth. We'll see what's on his card, see if it boots. Why isn't it booting? Why isn't it booting? On the wrong thing? What the fuck, man? So something is causing this not to boot. All right, so sorry about that. I stepped away. I grabbed some analog cables. I'm going to plug it in the analog cable, see if it boots up with analog cables. Just one second. I'm trying it with the HDMI again. Yeah, it's still not booting.
All right, so this is with the analog cables. Let's see, HDMI, composite. Still nothing. What the fuck happened? This thing was working perfectly a second ago. Figures, when I screw the thing closed, that's when it stops working. Okay, so let's go back to overhead cable. Where is that? Two, three? Yep, yeah, four. What the fuck? Goddamn switcher. Not switching. Oh! I forgot, HDMI. I gotta switch it to HDMI. Give me one second. HDMI. There we go. All right, let's figure out what the hell is going on here. Why is this not working? <clears throat> you know, I don't see any lights on the D uh, on the H or the GDMU as well. Although I think the lights are actually hidden underneath there. I'm gonna take the lid off and just boot it open. Let's see if I can see if anything's going wrong on here. This could also be it's going into a video mode that is not detected, but because I did have a, an issue with like that before that took me a while to figure out. But this should boot with the analog cables, with the, uh, the SD cables, so I don't know why it's not doing anything yet. Ugh. Trying to think. I got everything connected. The controller beeped, so that's good. So that's getting power. The fan was connected. All right, where's that power cable? So I want to see if anything boots on the GDMU. Okay, the GDMU, it did flash. So I'll do that again, right, right, right there is the, the LED. It just blinked, which is fine. That's what it should be doing. So that means that's good. Let's see if the fan is running. The fan is not running. Why isn't the fan running? Let me just check this cable real quick. That could be why it's not booting. Ah, that fan cable was a little loose. That could be why. Let me see if this boots now. These will not boot if it doesn't detect any fan. It needs to... Because it... it, it... Wants to make sure you're not going to overheat. Okay, fan's going now. That actually will probably fix it. Let me put this back to analog. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. It was the fan. And interesting enough, it did not save the time. Oh, because I pulled the... Wait, no. Why didn't it save the time? I wonder if this battery's dead or something. Anyhow, let me plug it into the HDMI. And see if that now works again. It should.
Yep, there it goes. That, that's exactly what it was. It was the fan was just a little loose. Yeah, I'm not sure why it doesn't... Oh, wait. There, that's a little better. I don't, I don't know why the time is fucked up. Unless the battery's not good. Is this the one I changed or not? I don't know. But let me seal this back up. And we'll try it again. So not lose these cables. But yeah, that's all it was. Fan was not plugged in properly. Wah wah. There we go. It's Australian. And what? Oh, because it was upside down. Gotcha. I thought it, that you were saying that because of the time, but now I understand. Yeah, it's because right now I have the uh, the capture card on OBS. It's actually flipped upside down because it would have been instead of my hand being in the lower right, it would have been in the upper left by default because of the way that my camera's mounted. And then when it I switched the console, I switched to a different scene that has it right way up. So a little bit more information than probably anybody cared to know, but that's how it goes. You know what? I just remembered or just realized I still got to cap the, do the cap kit on that one uh, power supply. I can do that next. That'll be quick. That should only take about a half hour, if that. All right. I think that's four screws. Let me see real quick. Yeah. Okay, all the screws are in here. Put the SDHT or SD extender. Got your card in it. Plug in HDMI and power. There we are. So it's working. Yeah, it's always always kind of freaky when you plug something in and then doesn't work. I did this. Why are you making me do it again? Oops. I'll have to test that battery, make sure it's working. And that it's plugged in the right way, too. Let's see. This should be 18. 1823. Yeah, it's booting the uh, GDMU. Oh, it's going right into Soul Reaver. So I take it you have Soul Reaver in uh, Disco 1? I already have a save game for this. I actually played this on stream. Now this is not using anamorphic widescreen, so it's stretched out. The way I played it on mine is I actually hex edited the ISO file so that it converted it to widescreen. So basically what it did is it did in... Yeah, GDMU should be in the first, first uh, folder. All right, anyhow, let's not play this game here we'll check out the test info all hearts perfect so now um i guess i should set up the wi-fi so let me do something real quick
one second here. Uh, I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi just so I can connect and get a, uh, a firmware update. And I want to also, um, I got to go in the console and set it up to use the GDMU properly. Oops. And my password, this password is going to take me forever to type in. Because you can't actually type it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. The newest firmware that I don't have on this thing will let you use a keyboard, which I do have a keyboard. But right now I have to go up and down and cycle through capital letters, symbols, then lowercase, uh, numbers, and then lowercase to type in the password. So it's kind of like big pain in the ass. And my password, of course, is really freaking long. And I'm about halfway done now. Yeah, it's symbols, numbers, then uppercase letters. So symbols, numbers, more symbols, let uppercase, more symbols, and then lowercase. And of course, I got a lot of lowercase letters in my fucking Wi-Fi password. Only three letters left. Getting there. One second. Almost there. Two letters left. One letter left. Uppercase, symbols, lowercase. Damn it. Okay, so firmware, let's see, configure. We'll check. Oh my god. Hang on. Let me do this. Let me pop out this card so it doesn't boot to that. Hey, it didn't ask for the date. That's good, I guess. All right, firmware check. What? Firmware is up to date. Error downloading. Hang on. Let me check the Wi-Fi again. Yeah, that worked. Let's see. Firmware. It... What the fuck? It's definitely connected. It's not able to check it for some reason. Look at that change log. What the fuck? Let me restart. Let's do it. What the fuck? Why is this doing that? That's weird. I hated having to type your password in for all your streaming services. 13 characters with symbols, numbers, and varying letter cases. Well, if you had a keyboard, it's not too bad. Um, let me just see if I can just download. I don't know why it's not having trouble downloading. Hang on. Let me set, see something again. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Wi-Fi setup. I do have an... 
Okay, reveal password. Let me log into the console itself. So the IP address, web username, and web password, that's just for my local network. 105. I'm logging in here. So DCHDMI and LSWTUN9IHW. I'll not save that and do this. Let me add, I'll show you what I'm looking at here in a second. Add. Uh, do, 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 window capture. This is DC console. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to show. All right, that might be a little bit too small to see, so I'll I'll zoom in here in a second. I can get rid of the get rid of that. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I don't know how legible that is. So let's see. Uh, help. Use check to see if any updates are available. Check. Error reading original checksum. That's not right. That shouldn't be doing that. Let me see if I can figure out why it's doing that. Let's see. DC digital... Error reading original checksum. Please use the cleanup command on the web console to remove all firmware update files before updating again through OSD or web console. Cleanup. Success. Okay, check. Nope. Okay, cleanup followed by download and flash. Cleanup, cleanup, download. Yeah, that's not working. Uh, 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 that's PS1 digital. Uh, I'm reading in here. It says, yeah, you can send it to me. I'll reflash it for you. Um, let's see. Let me turn that off real quick. I want to check something. Oh, there you go. There's my SSID. I revealed it to everybody. But you don't see my password, so that's fine. Um, there, I just hit reset on the console. I'm going to go into some more control or commands here. Oh, that's a U. I thought that was a V. U A Y three capital A D W E L M. Okay. Yeah, it just does not want to download. Error reading. Uh, let me look at the config. Hostname DC Firmware Manager. Let's see if that's correct. DC Digital Hostname Firmware Download.
I think it's going to the wrong firmware host name. The host, where, host name says dc-firmware-manager, and it shouldn't be doing that. Oh, wait, no. Firmware server dci74.de. dc.i74.de. Oh, it, you know, the server might be down. Yeah, it's not responding. It's saying the site can't be reached. Connection refused. So this might not be an issue that I can I can fix. All right, I'm going to grab one of my other Dreamcasts that does work and see if it has any trouble. So here's my This one's mine. One of mine. I actually have two with the DCHDMIs. I have two without DHCM DH uh, DCHDMIs and I've got um Actually, I have three that are stock. Two that have... Uh, let see, I want to get out of here. Okay, yeah, it's. I think it's the server is down. So this should work. This is... Uh, I know for a fact this uh, this would work. So it's it's not the console. It's the it's not you. It's me. Yeah, it's it's not the console. It's the server. So we're good with that. So let's just check and see if the games work. That sounds like a good time, doesn't it? No, I don't remember that. Spider-Man? You want to play Spider-Man? All right. I, got, I think Spider-Man's on this memory card. What the fuck? Why is it booting into that? So, uh, 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 uh. Oh, I know what I needed to do as well. Hang on. Wi-Fi setup. I need to go in here and I need to change it so that the option... God, that's loud. Turn that crap down. Oh, not 5. 10.105. DC HDMI. SSJHIERU 4X. Shady Fazbear, thank you for the 13th month resubscription. I appreciate that. Let's see. Config. I want to change the... the SSID is fine. Yes, that's fine. Password. I don't need that. Master. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. IP address. What was that belly dancing I saw there? Reset mode. This is GDMU. Keyboard layout. Save changes, yes. All right, reset. All right, so now, once this boots, I should be able to go in and reset the... 
DC HDMI or the GDMU from the menu. Okay, so let me exit out of here. Yes. I'm just doing that so I don't accidentally start a game. Right there. See now where it says at the bottom GDMU button? Right above the cards. So now I'll be able to hit the GDMU button. And we'll press it. And then what that does is it should start... You, you should be able to flip to the next game. By hitting without getting up and hitting the button because there's a button on the gdmu that lets you do that switch to the next game let me get some cards going here so like say if i want to go to wait where's spider-man say i start speed devils what do we got for cards uh, i'll go left So, oops, I started a crappy Ubisoft game. I wanted to start Spider-Man. Hopefully this doesn't have copyrighted music on it. Actually, there. That's the aspect ratio it should be. Man, it's starting me out at night. That's crazy. Bitch. So there, I press the GDMU button. It should start Spider-Man now, if I'm, if I set everything up right. Or not, okay. Well, I don't know. It should be working. Maybe I need to upgrade the firmware, which I can't do. Yeah, that's a great emote, Shady. Thank you again for making all those cool emotes. So here's Spider-Man. CRI, I cry every time. It's an old meme, but it reminds me that every time I see that CRI logo, it reminds me of that. What's that track in the background? That is Parasite Eve 2. It's the spring theme song. Well, that was Spider-Man. Oh, shit. I should have put it in the kid mode. What was I thinking? Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man... I don't remember how to play this. And, of course, I had to skip through everything. I couldn't just, like, read the instructions or anything. Follow the Spidey compass, all right? Okay, maybe, all right, whatever. So the games are working. Um, let me go ahead and get this set up, and I'll recap this power supply real quick, and then I'll be done. So this is my console. I was just using the... SD card out of it. So Mac Danny's console is done. It's sitting over there on the bench. Time to recap.
Power supply. You ordered a new CPU, an extra 16 gigs of RAM, a camera, and two lenses. Oh, nice. I thought you had a camera. Did you just buy that camera? It's like very expensive, wasn't it? There's a power supply. Oh, there it is. You had better make some content to even out your expenses. Well, yeah, and you got to stop giving it away for free, man. All right. So, I'm mounting this upside down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take out all the capacitors that are in here. These are the little round jobby things, round can looking things. Um, and I'm going to replace them with fresh ones. So, I'm just going to put this in here. First thing I want to do is apply new solder to all the points that have... Actually, I don't even need this yet. I'm going to put new solder down. So, first one is this big one here, which is right there, those two pads. Where am I at? Where am I at? Right here. Okay. Let's see, next one is right here. Little tiny guy. I'm just putting a big old blob on there because I'm going to heat up this blob and then pull them from the other side and just yank them out. So then there's three, three, and three. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then three at the bottom. One right here. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing. Because I'm not looking up at chat or the OBS preview right now. One. Okay, there's one here. One here. One here. here all right that's all of them so now i want i want this okay i'll just start yanking these out i'm gonna grab a just a little wrench here make it a little easier so, first one. First one I'm going to do is right over here. Okay, there's one. Got that one out. Next one is right here. Where is that? All right. I just lost my grip on it. Okay, there's two. And this one is kind of in a tough spot. So see this one right in there. That one's 
kind of weird to grab. So let me see. How do I want to do this? I guess I can grab it like... I don't necessarily need this, I guess. Alright. Try it without... Without the, the thing here. Yeah, it's partially out. Actually, one of the sides is out. It's the other side. Of My God. There we go. Got it. Um, go for this big one here. I think the vice actually did help. I was told that it is his hit or miss, and the GUI usually does it for what? When you add your games to your card, how do you do it? Are you asking me? Oh, the, uh, yeah, for the, the SD card, I use the uh, SD card builder. Because if you don't use that, it takes forever for the games to load up. And they use a custom um, EXE, so it, like, hard codes your games onto it. So I'll be refreshing it before I send it out. I'll, I'll throw some stuff on there for you. All right, right now I'm just getting a good grip on this one. There we go. And the one I'm going for is right there. I'm just rocking it back and forth, one leg at a time. So there's that one. Next one is next to it, this one. Same thing. We'll go one leg at a time. I'm gonna get my desoldering pump in a second too, so I can clear out these holes. Okay, last one is right next to it. So uh, just got this one there. So you can see that that center, that circle in the center, all that goop in there, that's from the leaky cap. So eventually that would have damaged the board or killed the uh, power supply, made it so it doesn't work. But for the time being, it was it's okay. But definitely you want to replace these capacitors and these. They're failing. They fail over time and they are failing now. So. All right, we're going right there. Rocking it back and forth, and it's out. Okay, there should be two left. One there, one there, one there, and then a small one over here. So I'll grab the small one first. I'll just hold that with my hand, I guess. Which is, is it right here? Yeah, I guess I didn't need to use pliers to grab this. I mean, it's not like they're getting super hot or anything. So there's that one. And then the last one is right here. Okay, done. So now I want to clean up the board. So there's a lot of nasty shit on it. So 
So I'll grab Q-tips. Yeah, look at that yellow nasty shit. Yeah, that one looks clean. And not all of these are leaking, but still, you should replace them all just for the hell of it. Now, if you're doing like old time radios, you don't want to just like do a shotgun uh, recap, which is what I'm doing right now, which means you replace all of them all at once. Um, old time radios generally have stuff that are tuned specifically. So you want to like make sure you're getting an exact match as far as like voltage and attenuation and ohms and stuff you know because they were like handmade and hand tuned so that they worked right but i mean i don't suppose anybody watching here is doing any kind of old time radios restoration but for this kind of stuff just blast them get new stuff all at once all right that looks actually pretty clean let me grab Oops. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's good. Sorry. Let's get up some of the, the water. Now this one I'm not taking off the uh, 12 volt uh, regulator there because this one's going into a console that will still use a drive. You only need the 12 volts for the the ones with the the actual disk drives in it. The one that I modded just now, that one has a, a power supply that I've already recapped, but I've already removed the uh, the 12 volt 12 volt uh, regulator. I'm just looking to see if I need to clean anything else up. Yeah, a little bit in here. Okay, that looks good. So now I have a list of capacitors that I'm going to be adding back here. Yeah, and, and some brands of capacitors are just garbage, too, so. So let me see, list of capacitors, do I have that on here anywhere? Let's see if I can figure out where this is. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of these X's because none of them are done. And then do, 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 do. there. Is there any advantage to the old timey radios being manually set like that? No, it's just how they were done. I mean, they they weren't mass produced, you know, off an assembly line, so they don't. And they were they were analog devices rather than digital devices, so. You know, and they were like AM and shortwave. They didn't have FM. So they were they were different animals back then. Look at the size of that one. That one's fucking long as hell. Look at that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got eight of them. So let's see. C3 is one th 100. 
microfarad 200 volt which is that one and this goes into c3 which is right there now on the board there's a little mark that tells you where the positive go or the i think that's negative actually because the positive leg is the longer one right is that right i think that's how it works anyhow see that stripe on the capacitor that goes where that mark is so it goes that way when you feed it through the holes oh that's right i gotta i gotta vacuum out the holes hang on they're still plugged up so let me get my desoldering pump i'll be right back It's got to heat up. Yeah, and, and the other thing is, back then the components really weren't made with the exact specifications every single time. So, you know, they'd have different components and they'd plug it in and then they'd test it. And it's like, oh, okay, we need to get a little bit more resistance on this one because this part didn't quite give us what we needed. So, or a little less. So they'd like swap out and they'd test it until they got the numbers they needed to like actually get the radio stations and stuff. So. So once again, I've got my desoldering pump, which is this guy. It is an S993A piece of shit. I think it cost me a hundred bucks. Um, Hacko sells one that is like four hundred dollars, but this does the exact same thing. And everybody complains, "Oh, these get clogged up so much." Well, so do the Hackos. You just got to keep them clean. Which this is almost due for cleaning. So um, there's an LED on the side here that should be blinking when it's ready yep there we go so it just it's starting to blink that means it's it's ready it's hot so i'm just gonna go through and get rid of this let's move it out of the way for now i'm going to go through Okay, so unlike the the board for the uh, DC or the uh, the the Dreamcast, these just cleared out right away. So now I just want to clean the back of this. Because there is a kind of little bit of gunk on it. Yeah, see how see that yellow nasty shit? That's like electrolyte and and flux and gunk and nasty dirt and shit you don't want on there. I'm just looking it over real quick. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, that that hole's not 
clean right here. Okay, looks good now. Um, This one still has a thing. Was that tool like a vacuum? Yeah, it's a desoldering pump. It's got a vacuum on the end. Cool. All right, we're good. We are ready. So I was working on C3, which is right there. 200, 100, and the legs actually fit through the hole this time. Here's my jar to put the cut legs in. Um, I'm going to grab some tape. Just to tape these down. There. Let me unplug my pump real quick. You know what, let me throw some flux on here because it's not really flowing the way I'd like it to. There we go. Much better. Okay, so there's one. That was C3. So... C3 is put in. Right. Oop, right there. Right there. So the next one is C10. Let me mark C3 off here. C3 is done. <coughs> C10 is 47 microfarad, 35 volts, which is... Forty-seven thirty-five, right there. And on the mask, you see the little dot is on that side. So we'll line up the white with that side. Try and get this in the hole. That's what she said. Now you could conceivably bend these sideways but I don't like doing that I like to have them straight on that's why I tape them instead just use a little painter's tape just to keep them in place I like the legs to be straight so where are we at we are right there zoom in a little bit So what I'm doing is right here, turn it to the side, you can see the legs. Right there and right there. Put a little flux. So there's C10, mark that off, 
Okay, C52, where is that one at? C52 is right, right there, right there. And that is a 470.35. There it is. Okay, so we got 470.35. I just got to pull these legs off of here. Now I'm trying to do this without like yanking them out or getting leaving too much glue on the end of these. But it's it's basically encased in tape. Cause this would normally be on a reel of you know thousands and thousands of these in a spool. And they would just be loaded into a machine using that. And the machine would just like rip it off in in one one pass. So alright. Lining up the the white stripe on the side of the stripe. Get the tape. Am I wearing a virtual boy? No. So what was that about electrolytes? Uh, it's what plants crave. I'm a dumbass. I was going to ask how that cap stays in, but then I remembered you got to solder it in. Yeah. S-O-L-D-E-R. You could pronounce it solder, but... I think in Canada they pronounce it solder with an L, but the American pronunciation is with no L. You, it's a silent L. I don't know why, but whatever. Oh, couldn't even see that. Sorry about that. Where are we at? Right there. That guy's in. So that was C52. Is that right? C52. I'm just clipping the legs off now. Okay, next one, C53, which is not right next to it. It's the one below it. It's down right here, C53, and that is a 47016, which is 47016. Line up the stripe. With the screen printing. This one feels like it'll stay in by itself. So I'm going to... It's, it's it right there. I'm going to go ahead and... Right there. I'll go ahead and just go ahead and take care of it. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So that was C fifty three. 
Done. C54 is a 2200 10 volt, which is that big, long, tall one. And C54. C54 is in the middle, right in there. Right there. So it's this middle one. So line up the white. Like that. So this one definitely needs tape. Oh, you couldn't even see that. Sorry. How long did that tape before? Have I ever stabbed myself with the one in the end of the caps? Uh, it's just a wire. It's not like it's going to stab you and, like, break your skin. I have uh, burned myself on the soldering iron before. So, whoops. Uh, C54-2200. We did that one. Fifty six four seventy ten, which is that guy right there, four seventy ten. That's fifty six. Where's fifty six? Fifty six is in the center down here at the bottom, right there. So line up the white. Am I doing that right? Oh yeah. Okay, that one's going to stay by itself. It's right there. Okay, good. Okay, that was C56. 58 is 3,300. 10 microfarad, which is right there. And that is C58. C58 is right there. So we'll get the white goes over to the right. Oops. So the white stripe is over to the right. And I do need some tape. But yeah, this tape, I will be throwing it away when I'm done here. I don't know if what you're kind of asking there, but <laughs> yeah. Flux. Okay, looks good. Happy trails to you until we meet again. All right, so that was C58. Yeah. And C59. I only got one left, so this is it. Let's just double check. 
It's got the value we're looking for. This one says 1,010 volts, and we're looking for 1,010 volts. So perfect. We did not mess anything up, chat. We did it right. Just trying to get the fucking tape off of this thing. Mm. All right, getting it. Got one leg out. There we are. Make it worth your while since you're actually betting. And there's only one spot left right there, C59. So we know it's the right one. Put that there, need some tape. See, this tape is wearing out. Got enough flux and everything on it. Did I win? I did. Nice. Okay, more flux in here. This, this tape is about done. Okay, that's it. Clean up that flux, and we're good. This is done. I can put this back in that other uh, Dreamcast, and it'll be all ready to go. And it will have another 30-year lifespan. 20 years, 20, 30 years. I mean, these are good quality caps. I get the, all my cap kits from Console 5. And they, they sell really good capacitors, so these should last another at least 30, 40 years, you would think. No guarantees, no warranty. So there you go. That's it. Recapped power supply. Looks good as new. You can kind of tell that I, uh, if you look at where I soldered it in, you can generally tell... Let me see if I can find a good spot, like right here. Where am I looking? Right there. Like, you can tell I capped it because you can see where I've cut it off. Like, especially on that one, see how it's like, there's a line through the center and it's a circle, where the other ones are just like a blob. They just look like nice points, where mine look like... Let's see if I can... Let's see right... That one, how it's cut off, where the rest of them just look like points. So that's how I tell, you know, whether or not I've done a, a capacitor recap on these or not. So, but we are done. You're only good at breaking things. I, you know, I used to be only good at breaking things too, but capacitors are very easy to change. That's a good way to get into this kind of stuff. I couldn't build one of these from scratch if you asked me. I mean, I, I don't know that kind of electronics, but I know enough where I can do soldering. Really getting the uh, the skills down to solder 
is really what I can do other than that. I mean, I have really very little electronic knowledge. I know a little bit. I mean, I can put together a, uh, like, wire up some an Arduino with a uh, shift register and stuff like that. But laser all good? Uh, I haven't checked that. Um, let me grab it. I'll... It's already open, so I can pull that out real quick. I'll show you how you do that. So we'll check his laser. So what's going on here is I'm going to pull out the the disk drive here. And actually, that power supply is going into this Dreamcast, so... I'm just unscrewing these right now. So as the laser or as these drives get older, their lasers get worn out. And actually it's more that the meow meow. It's more that the um what do you call it? The the gears inside wear down so it's it's not quite as close to the disc as it was so it, it's it's kind of doesn't focus right so if you just um bump up the uh the power out of the uh the laser diode then it uh is able to read it a little easier so what i'm doing right now is i'm god this fucking thing is filthy <laughs> i'm just getting these wires out of here because I need to open the top of this and these wires are in the way. So under here, on the back. So the laser is here and it's pushed back. So that's good. You want to push the laser back so that you can open it up because otherwise it would be all this tension would be on this. Uh, you know, you wouldn't have any slack here, but now I got slack. So in here, let me zoom in right here right right there that's the potentiometer you want to twist that until it reads like 700 ohms i think something like that so that's what i am going to do so give me a second i gotta find a uh, a tool And tool meaning uh, flathead screwdriver that fits in there. Does this one work? That's too big. All right. So there are three legs. Um, so here, let me zoom out. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I've got my meter here. And I'm just going to touch the legs. Like when I put it together, it should have... Uh, it's close to zero, essentially. But when I put it on here, whoops, just in here. Point six, right leg. There we go. So that's like a thousand ohms, a one kilo ohm. I want to drop that to about seven hundred. Also, let me let me show you again. I'll zoom in. When you're looking at it, there are three legs, two on one side and one on the other. You want to go to the it's not in focus. You want to go to the bottom leg. You want to test the middle on this side. I can't see. You want to test the middle on this side, right there, and then you want to test the bottom on that side. And that's when you're holding it open. So, say so you've got it. So you open it like that. You want to test the bottom. It'll be the top when it's closed, but the bottom when it's opened. Those are the two test points. Now, there's. If you test on the other one, you get a different reading. 
Why? I don't know. So let me just double check this. So uh, that's a, th a th one kilo ohm or a thousand ohms. So now I'm going to take my screwdriver and it, you, you only move this a tiny bit. Whoops. So I just moved it a tiny, tiny bit. And we'll see what it look, reads now. So 800. So I moved it barely a fraction of a millimeter. And it's down to 800 already. Oops. That's why you don't want to do this manually. Because if you do it too much, you'll burn the laser out. Okay. Six eighty. Six eighty eight. All right, I'm gonna move it back a little bit, and I'm going. I'm turning it counterclockwise now to go up, but if you want to go down, you turn it clockwise. All right, I barely moved it. It's probably gonna be like off by hundred. 886, yeah, Jesus. I probably moved it too much again. Seven thirty. No, that's good. I'm gonna leave it like that. Whoop. What happened? Seven thirty. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at seven thirty. So we'll test it too. So I just want to pack this back up. This is your ripping machine. All right. And it's funny. This this isn't even held by closed by anything. It's just like gravity. These, like, little rubber grommets are kind of like a friction feed. Um, other thing to do is... A little isopropyl alcohol and just... Gently clean off the lens. And that should do it for that. So let me put this guy back together. I'll put the power supply in first. That's a little bit more squirrely to get in. What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. So this is the, the one we just recapped. So recap on the screen, on the stream, I recapped that power supply. For a quick recap. Here comes the cat. She's not crying. I think she knows nothing's going to happen right now. Whoops. No. What did I, I spoke too soon. What's up, kitty? Sweet kitty kitty. Okay, so that's in. You know what? I need to get a battery for this too. Let me pop this down. Ugh, there we are.
Is this not in? What the hell? There we go. Okay. And last one. Whoops. All right, so now the power supply and the drive are both screwed in. Let's see, where is, oh yeah, I need to go get a battery. I'll be right back, so for this guy. You want some food, kitty? I just shut my window as well. All right, so. Positive. Positive. Oops. Okay, get the fan in here. Fan's plugged in. All right, I think everything's plugged in. So let me go ahead and get these screws in. All right, since this is your ripping machine, I'm going to get uh, HTTP track or whatever that program is loaded up on your... Uh, you know what? It's going to be set up differently for your broadband adapter. I'll just load it up just so we can see that it's, it's running and can read the disk. Oh, there we go. There. Okay, that's all together. Um, just need the lid. I was thinking about retrobriting this for you, but then I saw how dirty it was. I'm like, nah, fuck it. Network settings for yours are saved on the VMU, allegedly. Yeah, and that's fine. I'll, I'm just going to load it up, make sure it sees the disk, and... I mean, worst case, I can... Oh, that's not the right colored screw. Worst case, I can just set an IP address on a uh, secondary network card on my desktop. But I don't think we need to go that far. Or I could just boot a disk. That's that's the other option too. Uh, 
And I don't think it stores it on the VMU. I think it stores it actually on the console somehow. But I could be wrong about that. Okay. And this is actually... Yeah, that's the broadband adapter. Let me go grab a disc real quick, too. And this is composite, so... That's interesting. Something's not right. Let me switch back here. So watch what happens when I turn it on. It blinks and goes right back out. So something is not right. Okay, just making sure my disc is out of there. All right, so what is wrong? Ah, fuck. Why is there always an issue with these fucking control consoles? Oh, I gotta get rid of that list of capacitors, too. That's gone. What is up there? Why is it? What is that? Oh, it is the list of capacitors. All right. Why is this not working? Did I plug it in? Yeah, I did plug it in. Yeah, the cat's crying. I gave her food when I was up in the getting a battery, but apparently that wasn't good enough. She probably ate it all. I'll give her some more in a second, but I'm busy. All right. Why is this not working? Let me see, make sure the fan is running. Fan is plugged in. What the fuck? Now it works. What the fuck, console? Try it again. I have no idea. Oops, it's upside down. All right, let's set the date. It is 321. 21. 7, that uh, should be 19. 
Started without a memory card. Sure. Hey, King Yurl. How was it going? So this is not the one with the HDMI mod. This is a different one. This is his stock one. Keep out, motherfucker. Hmm. That's the Ferrelli Brothers car. Those fish are looking suspicious. Uh, Inesa. Huh? Inesa. No. Someone uh, beat my grandmother's ass. Dear son, uh, uh, I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei. Uh, my father? He's in the water? Is he dead? Is that what happened? Is that what the, the whole point of this game is? One of these days I am going to play this. So, the question remains, why did it the power go on and then blink right off? I don't know. I opened the case, looked inside, applied power again, it worked fine. Closed it up. I haven't screwed it closed. Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuxa! Fuxa! You have nice teeth! Real son! Fuxa! Fuck your son? What? Come on, kick his ass. Hello! Uh, he's got a scar, so you know he's the bad guy. Father! Stay back, Mule. For the last time. It's a little dark. Where is the mirror? But then again, I got I no pretty intention. bright lights on here, you. so my TVs aren't really showing very much. I don't know what it looks like on stream. I guess it, it's okay. Your kung fu is no good! Hey, everybody's fucking cut. Look at him. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, damn. Fuck, a double spin around knockout. Father! Why? Yeah, it is the AVK. Uh, 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 now then. No matter. How often you ask? I'll never tell. <laughs> Lifting him up with one hand. No, don't! Hand over the mirror. He's looking right in his crotch. Why is he doing that? Or else, your son. It's gonna punch him right in the dick. Wait, the, the mirror. It's it's buried under the cherry tree. Uh, 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 
<laughs> no, he's got COVID. Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? I don't. Chao? This is That's a brand new game. I mean, killed in Moon Swan. Ace two four seven. I'll bet on the right. You. Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. Like a woman. Oh, father. All right, while this is playing out, I'm going to grab a uh, refill of my beverage. Right, I'll be right back. We have it. Kicked. What? What are you saying, Father? Your friends. I don't like them. They're not allowed here anymore. Keep friends. Those you love close to you. Well, that's that's stupid dying no. advice. Like I didn't know that already, Father. You bastard. No! Give me better advice next time. All of a sudden, the rain stopped. Four days later, 8.30 a.m., 1986. Doc, we gotta get back to the future, to 1985. Doc! Oh, fuck yeah, biker gangs. Is that a mailbox? That's terrible advice? Yeah, it is. My advice would be, go find some strong kung fu people to hang out with. A letter for Hazuki-sensei. It's a bill. He bought the expensive fleshlight, and they're calling to collect. Alright, anyhow, this is working. So let's try it with a... A, uh... A burn disc. See how that works. Where is my case? There it is. This disc is kind of tough to read. I've had trouble with it before, even on my good drive. Let me try this again. sound like it wants to read it. I mean, it would have started with the Sega logo already. Here, I'm going to pop it open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's try this again. I 
don't think it likes this disc. Let me grab a different one. So it doesn't like that disc. But it could be the disc. I have trouble with reading that one on uh, my other controller or my other Dreamcast. Now, this is a different burn one. So I think if I reburn it onto a different disc, it should be okay. This one read right, spun right up. This is what I use to configure the uh, the broadband adapter. Sometimes I wonder if the Dreamcast would have lasted if they made GT GTA 3 for it. I wonder if they could have made GTA 3 for it. I don't know if this has enough memory for the, to do something like GTA 3. It looks like Dark Souls is still leading in Game War. So, all right, let's see. What do we do? Options, I think. Access. What does that say? Access charge information? Oh, okay, information setup. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Manual. So, is that what you set yours to? 1.99? Yeah, because like I said, I don't think it's stored on the, uh, the VMU. I think it's stored on the console itself, or maybe even in the broadband adapter. So, all right. Anyhow, that works. Let's try something else. Yeah, and meanwhile, it's the same type of disc. It's just, I think, that one disc might be dirty or just old or something. I don't know. And this one's spinning right up as well. Dream Shell. So, yeah, I think it's just the disc that I burned. I need to burn a new copy. Oh, I don't have the uh, the SD card with the, the right info on there, so I can't do that. Let me put this one away. I got another disc I can boot off of. And again, disc burns, boots right up. So, let's see. Let's pop in. Now, I'm popping out the disc that I booted it off of. And I'm going to put the Shenmue... Oh, shit! Put the Shenmue back in. So it'll read the information about this disc here. Sega Katakana. Uh, Shenmue. Hit any button. Okay. BIOS ROM. Oh, yeah. I want it. User board. Flash memory. SD card directory. So, yeah. It's working. So, I am going to... I guess I can burn a new copy of HTT Track, but... 
or it's HTTP ACK, but I'm sure it's fine. So that's going to do it for me tonight. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, I will be playing more. What am I playing? Uh, Sly Cooper. So I probably won't finish tomorrow, but I might put an end to the nominations for Game War and actually have stuff to vote on. So we might do that then tomorrow. Um, let me see something real quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to send you all over to Possessed Warrior because he is back streaming again. So it looks like he's doing uh, Lost and Damned. Any percent speed run. So have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. So have a good night. I probably will do Sly 2 after Sly 1 and then do Game War after that. So we'll like have Game War voting for the entire time I'm doing Sly 2 and then when I'm done with Sly 2, whatever one Game War, that's what I'll play next. So, all right, take it easy.